Fuck you for denigrating Guns N' Roses, you snot-nosed Macaulay Culkin motherfucker. Um, this is the fifth god, obviously, and I come to you today with another video that I'm going to explain why, as an atheist, you cannot say that you simply just have a lack of belief in God. Go. Maybe committed suicide. Seriously, me doing this video almost seems redundant. Okay, so let me explain this to you. If you don't believe in God, you are denying his existence, which is atheism. Denying God's existence? You're talking as though it's already been established that God exists, but we atheists are just lying to ourselves or something. Your mouth is really writing some checks at your cupcake cash. You see, I've watched a few of your videos, including the ones about the Big Bang, and it seems pretty fucking apparent that you were probably in the bathroom jerking off to this type of shit when your teacher was explaining cosmology back in class. What is a singularity, and where does it come from? Well, to be honest, we don't know for sure, and cool of the website. Atheists like to quiz uh, Christians on why isn't God observable or detectable in this universe? And uh, some Christians might say, we don't know, we still there, and atheists go, Oh! You don't know! That's because God doesn't exist! Um, it doesn't look like you know what the Big Bang, what our universe started out as, so how do you even know the Big Bang happened? I'm not going to get into this discussion with you right now, and I don't think it would make any difference even if I did, because you didn't even acknowledge any of the explanations given to you in the video responses. I really don't think you're in any kind of position to argue from any pre-established notion about the existence of God. If you are an agnostic, you would say that you have a lack of belief in him because you aren't denying his existence. You're saying it's possible, you just aren't sure that you believe in him. Can you not get this through your head? Why don't you try getting this through your Asperger's ridden head? In the strictest sense of the word, we are all agnostics, including yourself. Nobody actually knows for sure. A person who calls himself an agnostic is basically saying, well, I can't really make up my mind either way. While an atheist says, I see no credible evidence to believe, so I won't. Nobody's really denying anything because there's nothing to deny. You theists have failed to provide us with anything resembling a good reason to believe in your Bronze Age bullshit. You just keep churning out the same tired old arguments, but the next thing you said was truly something else. When I say, I don't believe in candy, I'm saying I know, or I think, that it does not believe. When I say I have a lack of belief in candy, I'm not saying that it for sure doesn't believe, or for sure doesn't exist, excuse me. I'm leaving that possibility open. I'm not denying the existence of candy. I've seen some bad analogies in my time, but that one makes Ray Comfort's banana argument look like a fucking stroke of genius. We know candy exists. This is an indisputable fact. Unlike your god. I think I might have to go to dictionary.com and look up the meaning of the word lack. Speaking of which, when I saw your last video, I actually took a look at the dictionary.com definition of atheism myself, and the first thing I noticed was how much it reeked of implied ignorant misconceptions. In the synonym section, we find the words irreverence and nihilism. In the related search section, we find atheist religion. Here's the kicker, though. In the sponsored results section, we find an ad for CosmicFingerprints.com. Gee, I wonder if they had anything to do with what ended up being said on this page, hmm? I'm not saying they did, I'm just pointing that out. Whatever the case, let's see what you have for the word lack. Defense, excuse me, deficiency or absence of something needed, desirable, or customary. Something missing or needed. So, something missing. I am missing a belief in God. I'm not saying I don't believe in God and I deny his existence. I'm saying I just, I'm just saying that I don't believe in him. You just completely contradicted yourself in the same sentence. For sure. Ah, oh, fuck you. That doesn't qualify a damn thing. You want to know why? It's because the degree of certainty isn't part of either definition. I don't know where the fuck you're getting that shit, but you haven't given one iota of justification for asserting it. There is not one difference between lack of belief and don't believe in terms of how sure a person is, but it gets even worse. Now, let's 
um, look up the word don't. Uh, this is going to be kind of hard. Um, contradiction of do not. Excuse me, contraction. Alright, let's see if it has do not. Okay, it doesn't. But I think I've explained this enough. R really? Really? You didn't even complete your argument. Come on, dude. How do you even post a video like this? If something like that happened to me, I would go right back to the drawing board and come up with a new argument. The craziest part is, this isn't even the first time something like this has happened to you. You've been punished plenty of times for this sort of thing, and yet you never seem to learn anything. Just what is it going to take to get you to realize this? What needs to be done to get you to stop posting such retarded bullshit? Get over here. First thing I want to do is bite off every one of these little fingers, one at a time. My last video on this should be anyway, unless something really, really takes me off.